Hi guys, welcome to another telecast on Excel. My name is Nono. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the feedback. I absolutely appreciate. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I post a video. Now, Excel launched a new function called the Lambda. Well, you have to be on the Insider channel to be able to see it, but it's going to be available for those who have um, Office 365. Now, this Lambda function makes it possible for you to make user-defined functions within the grid. Previously, you will not be able to do this. I mean, you have to use um, Excel VBA and then define a function or create a custom function and then you can use it. But right here within the grid, with the Lambda function, you can create your own function within the grid. I'm going to show you how it works. Another thing that you can do with the Lambda is to use it recursively. Okay, I'm not going to explain that in this video. In a subsequent video, I'll explain how you can use that recursively. By recursively, I mean that within the function, you can call the function. Okay, so let's create a simple Lambda and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, recall that... Um, I think some videos I, I did some while ago on my, on my channel, I showed how you can reverse a text or a string. So instead of using that long formula, we're going to create a lambda that does it. But first, let me show you how a lambda works. Okay. Now, say for example, we wanted to create a lambda that calculates the area of a circle. Now, the area of a circle is pi times the um, radius squared. Okay. So how do we start? We go equals to lambda. Okay. Oh, I didn't get that right. Okay. Lambda. Okay. Tab. Now, the first argument is the parameter. Okay. Now, when we think about it, we want to calculate the area of a circle and it's pi times the radius squared. So the parameter we need is our radius. So we just define a parameter radius. Okay. And it just takes one parameter so what's the calculation so you can see parameter or calculation now there are some functions you want to create that take more than one parameter so it depends on you but for this area of the circle it's just one which is the radius so every time we specify a radius we're going to be able to calculate the area okay so what's the calculation for the area of the circle It's simply pi okay which is what we have here pi times the radius which is what we have defined here and then squared okay and this is how we write it and then we hit enter oh wow we see that we get a calc error now why is this now it's because when we are trying to test out the lambda within the grid okay you need to try out an example okay you need to put an example and test the function how do we do that we open another parenthesis and say for example the radius is five okay so we put five there and we hit enter and then we get a value okay so that's how it works we can also refer to um, a cell reference okay so instead of imputing five here manually i could just select this cell reference and then get a value so this is the area okay but this is not all what we're going to do is we're going to copy this because the beauty of the lambda is when you're creating the function you have to use the name manager okay to define it okay so i've copied the lambda so i click on formulas i go to the name manager i click on new now here we're going to call our function circle area okay what does the function do okay calculates the area of a circle given its radius Okay, so every time we specify the radius of the circle, we calculate the area. Now, what is our function here? It's what we copied. It's all of this lambda. And then we click on OK, and then we close. Now, when we come here and we do equals to, and then we do circle, we already see our user-defined function within the grid. And here we can see the screen tip based on what we wrote as a description calculates the area of a circle given its radius so we tab into it and then we can put any radius at all and then we get the area you can create whatever function with many arguments as many as possible now 
in my previous video i showed you how to reverse a text string okay using the sequence using the mid using a text join now i'm not going to explain those functions if you have any trouble with those functions just watch the previous video i'm going to leave the link in the com in the comment i'm going to leave the link in the description i mean and then you can um, go back and watch okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the function before we convert it to a user defined function using the lambda okay so the first thing we do is sequence okay and then for the sequence what do we do we find the length of this okay and then um, our start will also be the length of this and then we're stepping by minus one because we're trying to reverse this this gives us a sequence of six five four three two one exactly what we need okay for our mid function mid function is a text function that helps us extract characters from a text string specifying the start and end position okay um so we click on this this is our text and then we just want one character okay so we do this and then notice that we've extracted all the characters and they are reversed okay so we need one more function to piece all of this together and that is the text join so we do text join and then the first argument is the delimiter we don't want any delimiter so we just leave a space and then we can just put true or false and then there are no blanks so either of them will go and voila we hit enter and then we can see that we've been able to reverse this okay of course we can convert it to a number if we want to or all of that but anyways this is what i wanted us to see okay now we're going to convert this to a lambda how we do this so we're going to copy all of this here escape and then we're going to come here to another cell now we want a lambda that does this okay now what do we what are we going to call our lambda we don't know yet we're going to call it in the define it in the name manager but first what argument or parameter does our lambda take a text or string okay so let me just put text all right now what does our lambda do is everything we defined here in this but we cannot use this cell reference because we want it to refer to whatever cell we specify so we're going to make this our argument instead of b6 so anywhere we see b6 we're going to put text okay so here we're going to put text as well and then here we're going to put text okay great now we're going to close parenthesis we also get a calc okay now but we can test that our lambda is working simply we can just pick on this and we should get the same the number reverse okay so good our lambda is working so we're going to copy all of this up to here okay and then escape so now we can actually delete it and we can delete this now we go again to the name manager and we're going to create another custom function this time we'll call it reverse text and what does it do it reverses a text string okay that's the description of the function and then we paste it here and then we click on okay and that's all and instead of writing that long formula i can just come here and just do reverse text and you can see the screen tip reverses a text string and i just enter the function open the parenthesis click on the text because that's the argument it takes and then hit enter voila and the text is reversed as you can see hey i can put um an actual text here and you see that it's also reversed so this is the way of using a lambda you know to reverse a text or a number okay now lambdas like i said are new fun is a new function in excel is available to people that have office 365 we're going to be doing a lot of videos using lambdas especially the recursive case okay if you have other ways you can do this please drop in the comment section thank you so much for watching